All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house. And today I have the Chris Reeve Mnandi here with me. And this is just a beautiful piece. Um, we're going to analyze the look, the sound and the feel of this little guy. Uh, but first of all, let's just put it up to, uh, against uh, a couple of fancy options. This is the Lethier uh, Nature, a uh, pretty nice offering from Fontenil Pateau. And here you have it up against uh, uh, the wrinkles from Arno Bernard, another like pretty fancy uh, option, very, very comparable in size. And um, let's take another couple of small boys, like look at this. This is the Spyderco Mech B, and this is the Coach Tool uh, Wasp in a full dress, so fancy little options. Uh, and let's see a couple of big boys uh, also from Chris Reeve Knives. This is the large Sebenza 21, as you can see, like dwarfing the Mnandi. And here you have uh, your uh, Chris Reeve Knives Omnumzan. So let's get started. Um, let's analyze the look of this guy because uh, this is just uh, truly spectacular. I think this is um, one of the classiest uh, uh, knives around, like very, very elegant, very, very stylish and fancy, yes. So uh, this is an original design by Chris Reeve made in Idaho, uh, US. And basically, like you see, there's like three lines, all right? So just this one uh, in the back and two and three right there. Uh, this is just like a straight line, but the main lines are three and very, very elegant. It's um, super well balanced. Uh, the design, it's just uh, lovely. Just in, a, in the closed position, uh, this is just fantastic. So I, I, I'm, I'm in love with this guy. This is the, the, the kind of knife you would uh, uh, pocket uh, during a wedding, 100%. Um, you have like this box Elder Burl, a uh, beautiful inlay uh, over here, which is fantastic in both sides. Look at the texture, look at the grain. It's, it's just beautiful. I mean, this is something you would uh, uh, use in a dashboard for a pretty fancy car, I think. Uh, this is a line, uh, liner lock because yeah technically i would say like frame lock but also liner because you know you have these uh, um, inlays over here and the liners are made of uh, sandblasted titanium in this side as you can see but they are polished on these flats over here to you know to give you a nice contrast they are pretty shiny uh, but not to the side so very very nice dual tone finish for the for the liners um, opening mechanism is a, is a nail nick over here. Uh, Chris Reeve, the, um, Reeve um, changed the nail nick of the Nandi. Um, this is the new model, so it's slightly different than the previous version. Uh, you've got, you know, your nice finger groove over here, which is going to be pretty nice and uh, in your hand. And you have some chamfering going on, on the, around the edges. Not really that much on here, you see, on the inside, there's not much chamfering going on, but it's not sharp uh, in any way. Uh, you have some nice jimping going on just over here, nowhere else, because it's pretty sleek uh, looking little knife overall. Uh, you have a little bit of uh, lock release uh, uh, relief, you see here, you know, this uh, presentation scale has been uh, cut like a little bit this way, recessed, and this side just tapers down to give you a nice, you know, uh, grip when you have to uh, unlock the, the, the lock bar. So pretty nice. Um, you have this uh, scale in the back, which is acting as a um, lock bar stabilizer, if you if you wish, you know, and uh, you have this uh, uh, external uh, lock bar relief right over here, which is a little bit, uh, you know, subtracting uh, from the design, but I mean, nothing too crazy. I like how they uh, interrupt the satin finish right at the beginning of the lock bar relief to do like a sandblast uh, finish right up to here. So it's a pretty nice uh, little detail. Uh, this guy is using just regular, you know, Allen uh, keys for the uh, for the screws, it's uh, pretty straightforward and simple construction. You just have a screw here, a screw here, and that's it. Basically, 
you know it's very very easy to disassemble to maintain to lube it up it's uh, it's gonna be pretty much uh, a walk in the park um, you have you know these screws are nicely polished and shiny because of course I mean this is a fancy one so you're not gonna polish your screws come on this is mandatory they're a little bit domed you see not completely flush but it's it's beautiful the, the tactile feeling you get uh, rubbing your finger over here it's it's fantastic I, I, it's it's a joy um, you have you know the, the, the pocket clip all right this is like something uh, very very elegant it could be uh, you could carry this one uh, in the you know in the pocket of your shirt because you know of course the size and of course the weight but you know having this pocket clip over here it's gonna be not like full deep carry but it's gonna stick out just a little bit like that and it's not gonna look as you're carrying a knife this is gonna be like i don't know resembling a pen or something that you can easily carry in uh, you know in the inside pocket of your jacket or in the pocket of your shirt like pretty easily um uh, you know uh, can be mistaken for a for a pen love this uh, this design you know it's um nicely polished has the chris reeve logo right over here has a pretty nice uh, ramp and as you can see there's like um, one two three four like little ridges on the inside to you know to give you a little bit more um, retention uh, uh, in the pocket so very very cool uh, you uh, you know the pocket clip is only uh, tip up carry right over here you can reverse the clip actually so you can just uh, you, you need to open the the scales and reverse the clip to the other side so if you if you prefer this uh, on the other side it's going to be fine and it's not going to be uh, detracting anything uh, uh, to the look because the scales are pretty symmetrical in both sides as you can see so very very nice uh, design choice over here uh, this is not uh, ambidextrous in fact Chris Reeve is offering uh, also lefties option for this one and uh, if you're a lanyard hole fan uh, no it's not gonna happen you, you don't want to um, you know put a lanyard in this guy because it's it's I mean you don't need that um, there's no backspacer it's an open construction you just have your stop pin right over here and this uh, standoff right at the end in the heel of the handle which is just beautifully finished like um, you know like with these uh, these curves over here very very nice uh, indeed um, blade centering of course it's spot on you can't expect uh, anything less uh, from Chris Reeve and check out the blade guys this is uh this is just phenomenal this is a, a basket weave uh, devin thomas uh, damascus steel it's uh, the pattern is beautiful it's one of my favorite it, it comes uh, also like in a raindrop uh, pattern or um, a ladder pattern so you can choice you can choose the you know the, the one you prefer and uh, pair it with the pretty substantial options for the wood uh, you wanna you you, you want to display in your scales uh, this is a small knife like the blade is like 2.75 inches long and overall this knife open is 6.375 inches long so very very uh, carryable super edcable size just fantastic it's gonna just disappear in your pocket you have a beautiful like uh, drop point blade i i'm i'm in love with this shape guys it's um, it's fantastic it's resembling a little bit you know the the um the sebenza uh shape in a drop point configuration which i i'm really a fan of and uh, it's uh, it's just very very nice guys i mean you have this pretty subtle jimping but it's still functional uh, the spine is beautifully crowned i don't know if you can appreciate that but this is like ex like almost like a half of a sphere it's super rounded off it's beautifully chamfered very very nice 
the stock thickness is uh, pretty thin this is going to be like a crazy slicer and the tip is thin but at the same time robust uh, you have a beautiful hollow grind over here which is going to increase you know uh, the thinness behind the head the edge which you can see it's like extremely thin so beautiful everything here uh, is like uh, symmetrical in the in the blade like uh, you know the grind is symmetrical the edge it's perfectly proportional like to the length uh, i mean great job nothing nothing to to say about that um you also have like a nice sharpening choil right over here right below you know the plunge grind which is gonna hide the ricasso below the handle um so you're not gonna be able to see it just a little bit right over here but it's it's gonna be you know you, um you're gonna have enough space for your sharpening uh, task um and you, you're not gonna have any issues in sharpening the, the this guy um, also, you know, uh, you don't really have a thumb ramp, you know, just have some jimping over here. Um, but, uh, you know, the overall, the, the design, it's fantastic. You have this nice logo over here, which, you know, if you see, it's like the, uh, the, the, the letter R, it's just perfectly parallel with this line over here. And it's a sweet, sweet touch. Uh, there's no skeletonization over here, just a couple holes to, to you know, to screw in the uh this this the, the inlays but nothing you see uh on the inside so you don't really need to save weight because this guy weighs in at 1.5 ounces it's it's very very light uh the sound the mnandi makes is of course like inconspicuous because hear this this is all it's not inaudible but it's a very very soft and sweet clink you know it's very listenable very mellow and it's something you want uh, you know uh, from a knife of this caliber because this is gonna be something like for a special occasion you know something uh, you wanna uh, use maybe uh, when you're with guests or friends and you don't want to scare anyone and this guy is just gonna be like this it's gonna be awesome and when you close the knife, it's going to be like completely muffled and inaudible. Hear this. It's, it's just fantastic. Even if you slam it down, you have this. So one and two, very, very elegant, classy and, uh, and subtle. So I'm, I'm truly a fan of this guy. You pull this uh, one out of the wedding, you know, you want to cut something and like a letter or something like a gift card, whatever. And uh, you're going to do it uh, with, you know, absolute class. So beautiful. Um, from the filling um, department, you don't really have any hot spots. Even if the clip would suggest otherwise, you know, this uh, the grip is going to be something like this and you don't feel the clip. So no hot spots, no sharp edges. You know, you've got your nice jimping over here. I wouldn't do like a reverse grip because what are you gonna do? You know, it's not gonna happen. Uh, you can choke up a little bit more, like something like that. There's not really a finger choil. You just have to stop right over here. But like this is gonna be beautiful. You know, it feels solid, even if it's light and, um, you know, small. Guys, this doesn't bend you know in any ways it's it's solidly built it's a chris reeve so texture is uh, is pretty good uh, it's sleek i i am a fan of this guy uh, i don't see any gaps uh, whatsoever in any point uh, i mean there's no blade play even if it's a little guy it it is well built uh, it is well designed it's yeah, I mean, I, I, I like this guy 100%. Uh, the clip also has a nice retention. You know, it's it, it's beautiful. Uh, of course, it's not going to be like a fast knife to deploy. This is going to be, you know, one hand you can do like this, you know, and deploy. But it's going to be uh, slow. You know, it's not going to be a flipper speed, you know, running on ball bearings. This is running on phosphorus, uh, uh, phosphorus bronze washers, which are have been, um, you know, uh, punched in with, uh, you know, to create some holes around the washers in order to retain the grease the fluorinated grease that you can see a little bit you know the white uh, grease right there 
that Chris Reeve is providing with every package and it's gonna just you know give you like a beautiful and smooth action uh, even if it's uh, slow who cares you know this is smooth even if uh, you know this is a Damascus blade which are famous to be less smooth uh, than the you know classic S35V and they're employing this guy is going to be nice the D10 strength is dialed in it's on the light side but I mean it's uh, it is a very small knife so there's not too much weight on the blade there's no way you're going to be able to shake it open and it's going to be 100 percent safe even you know the tip you cannot touch it right there there's no rattling of course uh, if you shake this guy and uh, you know even the feeling you're gonna have when uh, closing the knife it's super uh, pleasant because you know it's very easy to uh, to unlock the bar even if you don't have that much relief over here to to unlock the you know the lock bar and you're gonna be doing it like uh, pretty easily um, you don't have a detent ball ramp here but I don't know why there is not really like a hard step you see there's no detent ball ramp but it's just not encountering too much resistance uh, in doing this you know um for the for the ball to to go up uh, to the tank so pretty pretty nice of course you know it's not gonna be fall like free falling or guillotine shot yeah, there's no droppy drop shottiness uh, action for this guy because this is not about the speed this is about uh, quality this is about class and elegance and a hundred percent style so i'm truly in love with this guy so there you have it hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for watching and stay tuned